Hello, hello, entertainment daily lovers. We are back with more gist from women that got served, or should I say, Nigerian women that got served breakfast by their exes or by their husbands online. And these men won't shut up, they won't keep quiet, they won't stop talking, they won't stop taunting and mocking their ex. Okay, so let's get right. May you a doches just right about now. For some of you, this is like an update. Some persons are like, okay, who is she? I'm gonna quick give a quick backstory. But before we do that, thank you so very much for joining us today. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell. Okay, let's be dissecting and analyzing together because this world we live in, <laughs> a whole lot of people are doing things that are shocking people out there. Mm, not me, I'm not shocked because humans are capable of anything okay if you can think about it there is someone out there that is capable of doing that thing that you're thinking okay so this is may you edochia the ex now the ex-wife of nollywood actor you edochia okay so y'all know that you edochia is a nollywood actor if you don't know i'm telling you right now and this man has been acting for a very long time and on every interview he will praise this wife of his, how wonderful May is, her name is May, the beautiful lady you're looking at, how wonderful she is, how awesome, how of a good wife, good mother, good everything, how blessed he was actually, like God gave him the best. Okay, this man said that for over how many years? Counting down on their 17th year of marriage, we start hearing some kind of stuff online about this guy because a blogger broke the gist about this guy. And that was when his own wife was finding out, just as every one of us online were finding out that this man not only is cheating on his wife, but this man had a full-blown relationship, okay? Like a full whole relationship in a different state from the state where him and his family is based, okay? Had children, a child that was... 17 years old as at then she was in the newly in the university had uh other children in high school and whatnot but yeah while this woman thought she her husband was working no he was working and doing the most then when the whole thing came out this man did not stop he came out online flaunting the side chick that's what i call her although some people refer to her as his second wife but well this first wife may said she will not be numbered and she left but this man kept mocking kept talking kept saying things online that will make people feel like look i just didn't do this because i wanted to do this it's also the fault of my wife she's not understanding he will come out and say why can't you just calm down calm down you know be just mocking this lady anyways where they were still talking about that they lost their first son together and trust me this side chick that became a wife came out celebrating dancing online so much so much so much happened okay so fast forward this lady we're in a court and they are uh, divorce process is still ongoing because this man first of all finding him to serve him court papers was like <laughs> hell they couldn't find him and now they've been in court and the case is being adjourned 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 on purpose but he's still on social media flaunting and flashing and living all his flashy lifestyle maybe the next video i will put up here is for you all to see him and his second wife and you know that i'm not even kidding but this man is not ready yet to grant the first wife okay not even his first wife his ex-wife because she said i will not be numbered uh divorce now let's get right into the hot gist so the good thing about this whole thing is the fact that people of her country nigerians stood by this woman and people decided look we will not leave you down there this woman became ambassador overnight all right so this woman became an influencer overnight and she started getting brand deals doing things a woman that was always indoors you hardly see her for 17 years that she was married to this man people hardly see him with this woman out even when he's in lagos state where the base or event hardly does he even go out with her once in a while you will see both of them attending an event and that is just it but now may is everywhere billboard in fact anything you can think of the amount of deals that she is getting even him that he is the actor he is the celebrity he is not getting anything as close to what this woman is getting now so she was on one of their program where they were promoting 
one of the brand that she is actually influencing for that she's an ambassador for so she was out there talking and she also uh, has her brand she has like her shampoo and hair products and her shampoo like for if you have like your gray hair you want to cover your gray hair you want to change the color of your hair she has this shampoo you can use to wash your hair and you have your hair black you have black hair and whatnot okay look so there's just so much going on for this lady but anyways she was out there promoting one of their deals and on stage talking to the audience telling them how her business started and whatnot and you could see this woman break down on stage where she was talking about how her businesses and everything was going well look her father-in-law the father of her own this man she was married to came out and told everybody how smart this woman is how this woman is a computer guru that people should not just look at her because she's quiet she doesn't carry herself she doesn't brag you know that the woman is brain she's a smart woman you know so she came and talked about how all her businesses went down when this whole thing happened to her it's almost like she had to start from scratch and she couldn't really say everything she wanted to say and she you could see her shaking on stage you could see this woman trying to control herself another lady that was there with her came over took the microphone from her told the dj to start playing music and they were just giving her time to collect herself she had her left hand covering her eyes she used her right hand she was just tapping on one of her products because she had a product on the table right in front of her while she was presenting right she was talking about it she was just shaking you could see her right hand shaking as she was tapping on that project she was or product she was just crying and shaking on stage and she couldn't really deliver everything then fast forward a few hours later the person that hosted the program now posted that clip to her own instagram and may went underneath and commented and said i didn't i i thought i was very strong i didn't know like i, I didn't know that i was going to break down and i didn't even know that you were going to post this clip go underneath that video and see the comment look at how people are cheering for this woman people are holding this woman up because people can really see through but when all of these things is happening that's the time that the ex he just waits for something good to happen to this woman and he shows up he tries to tap from that that thing or try to show off he came up oh i'm going to pick up my wife now the the present side chick that turned wife the home wrecker mm -hmm, that one i'm going to pick up my wife from the uh what what did he even call it the airport i'm going we're going here we're doing this we're filming skits we're on the movie set we're, he's just trying to act like he's all happy and he's so proud of himself and he's you know the reason one of the reason why i wanted us to talk about this is when i look at this woman's case and i look at coral Bidi's case and so many other cases that is out there you will just see how how wicked some men can be people that you've lived with for so many years this woman may was married to you for over 17 years okay they were, i think they were going on their 18th uh anniversary before the blogger broke this news okay and she was reading it on the blogs as every other person was reading about it okay this is someone that she had trust this is someone that she stayed home to raise their kids while he was out there chasing his career wanting to be a top nollywood actor and she being a strong woman a supportive wife she did support him and he was one of the best like people loved him but right now <clears throat> There are people that cannot even stand no matter how interesting that move that movie is immediately they see this man on the top on the poster sorry people don't even want to watch that's how upset and disappointed some people are and for the fact that this man will not stop talking will not stop taunting his ex will not stop doing weird things how he came out and said oh 2023 was his best year that's the year he lost his first son man and his other wife came out singing oh how god loves me this year how god loves me your the man you're married to just lost his son and this man was out there doing many skits acting like he he didn't even nothing happened to him all because he wanted this woman to just suffer and pass on in penury misery and everything but i love how god lifted this woman and how god continues to bless this woman you know when i look at this woman's case i can see that it's similar stuff with cora or baby's case where cora has also gone through so so much where you can see that 
Cora Obidi has gone through so, so much where Justin keeps talking, keeps taunting, coming online, acting like he's this person that wants to co-parent in peace. He wants peace. He wants nothing else but peace. But at the same time, you will see that something else is happening on the ground. It's the same thing with you, like Dolce, how you want to act like, look, I'm not even interested in this. I've got a beautiful wife, beautiful kids and everything. I don't even care. I want to fit. But grant this woman the one wish that you can, even if you don't have any respect, love or anything for this woman, have respect and love for your children, the remaining surviving children, and grant their mother the divorce. But no, this man continues to cause pain to this woman. How someone has labored with someone. Did I actually tell you that this man had nothing? It wasn't as if he was any rich anything. It's just that his father is a very popular, well-known, respected Nollywood actor. That's Apete Doce. That's his name. He's acted in a whole lot of movies. He's respected in Nigeria and outside. But this son is not someone that had anything that you said this woman met him as someone with something no they both met when they were still very young and they hustled together to get where they were before this whole thing happened but the way this man turned around and treated this woman so poorly without any single consideration to say okay if not for nothing for the for the love for the care the way you took care of my children the way you were able to hold up because this man kept saying it his words on the internet people were digging out old videos of him on interview where people were asking him about family his wife how he was showering praises on this woman but look at how he end up treating this woman i want everyone to really learn from these two stories thank you so very much and i will see you on the next one